Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over the Set 41 Headliners featured card, which is a 2018 Silver Slugger Trevor Story, 96 overall, shortstop for the Colorado Rockies. In this review, we're going to give over his real-life statistics, his attributes, and wrap that all up and give a comprehensive review by giving him a Chewy rating, which is 1 through 5 Chewies. On top of that, before we get into it, I need you guys to hit the subscribe button, comment, like, and share this video. That way we can continue to grow the channel, as well as that notification bell so you know whenever I'm uploading more videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. Trevor Story So the Set 31 Headliners featured card is this 2018 Silver Slugger, Trevor Stories, shortstop for the Colorado Rockies, 96 overall. He's right-handed throwing, right-handed batting with no secondary positions. He has diamond hitting and diamond defense. So off the top, I'm going to let you guys know, Trevor Story is one of my all-time favorite swings in this game. He has been my shortstop at the beginning of pretty much every single game every year since he was a silver in the game, which I believe dates back to about 2017. He just absolutely mashes for me at the beginning of seasons. I love it. He's always fast. He has good defense. If you're looking for a budget guy early on when the game first comes out, I recommend picking up Trevor Story's Live Series card. Although this year he was kind of a diamond, so he wasn't too much of a budget card. But before that, he was always a gold or silver, so he's always kind of my shortstop diamond in the rough type of guy getting into his real life attributes for the 2018 season when he won the silver slugger he batted 291 had an on base percentage of 348 he slugged 567 he had an ops of 914 an ops plus of 127 he had 37 home runs 108 rbis 27 stolen bases 42 doubles and a war of 5.6 he won the Silver Slugger, was voted into the All-Star Game, and he finished 8th in the MVP race. Now, the thing I want to point out is a lot of people are going to say, well, he played at Coors Field. That's why his numbers are so inflated. He had an OPS plus of 127. So what that accounts for is what his OPS would be based on conditions. And those conditions are the pitchers he faces, the stadiums. It tries to, it's, a, it's a complex formula that kind of wraps up everything in a hitter that's why i really share the ops plus or the era plus whenever i'm talking about a pitcher because these numbers show like how much better they were than above average now did trevor story have like a ridiculous year not really when it comes to ops plus but he did mash and he's mashed left-handed pitching specifically as you'll see when we get into the attributes as i've already mentioned i think trevor story has a pretty glitchy swing but let's get into the attributes and see what they look like. He has 88 contact versus righty, 112 contact versus lefty, 88 power versus righty, 113 power versus lefty, 65 vision, 71 discipline, 86 clutch. He has 80 fielding, 90 arm strength, 84 arm accuracy, 81 reaction with 92 speed, 75 stealing, and 66 base running aggressiveness. So very similar to the live series Trevor Story when it comes to his splits against right-handed pitching and left-handed pitching. He mashes left-handed pitching in his live series. He mashes left-handed pitching in this silver slugger card. As well as he has pretty good contact versus righties here in power. The biggest downside to Trevor Story is he strikes out a lot in real life. Therefore, his vision is going to be bad at the 65 vision. That's very low for a high-end card. It's really going to affect his tree rating here because with low vision equals small PCI, even with pretty good contact. Now, the glitchier swing, if you do connect, he's going to probably hit the ball for a lot of power. He seems to generate a lot of fly balls compared to ground balls. He is very fast. He has a lot of range at shortstop. Does he have the best fielding? Not really at 80. But he does have good arm strength at 90 arm strength. And the 92 speed with 81 reaction, he's going to get to pretty much everything. He reminds me a lot defensively of that Fernando Tatis face of the franchise card earlier on in the year where he didn't have the best fielding. But with the reaction and the speed, he pretty much got to everything. And in my opinion, was hands down one of the best shortstops in the game early on, if not the best. So that's kind of my comparison. Um, it, this card will be pretty good if you're okay with a smaller PCI. But that's a concern for the general population of the game. Obviously, if you're an elite player, it doesn't really matter what the PCI is. You're pretty much putting the ball in the center of it anyways. And therefore, the vision is not as big of a factor. Let's look at his quirks. His quirks are hitting machine, bomber, cannon, sniper, speedster, thief, and pressure cooker. So when you're looking at his quirks, he has hitting machine and bomber. Obviously, with the low vision and discipline, he's not going to have walker or 20-20 vision. 
As for the Cannon Sniper Speedster Thief, this just shows how good of a defensive player he could be and that he's very fast. And I think that's important for your shortstops. You want a guy with a lot of range. Now, I'm a little bit biased about Trevor Story, but I'm going to be unbiased here in my opinion of his Chewy rating as I typically am. You guys who've watched enough of these videos know that I rate the card on what the card is, not on what I feel about the card. Uh, it's just my personal opinion, essentially, of how the attributes line up at what point in the game we are and kind of what position they play. For this Trevor Story, I think at this point in the game, this card just it really doesn't have that much use. There's a lot of guys that you can use as a platoon pinch hitter against lefties. There's guys that are just better against righties. There's other good shortstops in the game, as well as most people's caps are developed already, and a lot of people play them at shortstop. I personally, if you want a guy that's a defensive stud that's going to have a lot of speed, I would go get an Ozzy Smith. I would look into Robin Yount. I would look into the Michael Young card. I would look into other options at shortstop than this Trevor Story, especially because I think his price is still expensive. Um, yeah, right now you're talking about, you can look at it right here, like 65 k um, If you want to buy now, a little bit above that actually, and about 58 k And about 58 k you put in a buy order. I mean, that's just too expensive for this quality of card. Therefore, I'm going to give this Trevor Story two and a half Chewies. I really like the Trevor Story. I really like his swing. I just think the card is going to be too expensive. And I don't know if the price will go down to where it needs to be. I, I really don't know, to be honest, because... Even if you put this card at 20k, I just think there's so many other options at shortstop. Whether there's second baseman that can play shortstop. I mean, you got the D.D. Gregorius. You got the Carlos Correa that are player of the month cards that I think are better than this Trevor Story. There's just so many other options at shortstop so far that have stats similar to this Trevor Story. Or, I think, better stats for a cheaper price. So, unfortunately, this Trevor Story is going to get 2.5 Chewies. So guys, that's going to wrap up the review of this 2018 Silver Slugger Trevor Story 96 overall shortstop for the Colorado Rockies. In the comments down below, let me know what you guys think about a true review. If you guys agree with me or disagree, let me know. Also, like and share this video. That way we can continue to grow the channel. You guys have a great day and be safe.